Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. This is Critical Think from Down Under. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I just thought I'd do a quick one today. This was going to be part of a, a longer video, but I thought I'd section this out as an instant debunk the flat earth. I hope you enjoy it. So here's my model of the flat earth. It's a flat stationary plane with the circle here represents the path of the sun on the Tropic of Capricorn in its most southern sun path, which is uh, in the Australian summer. The position of the sun is all about the uh, spot it will be at sunrise, 6 a.m. in the morning, um, the east coast of Australia. Now, here's the thing with your flat earth. When you are at any point on the flat earth, the sun is always seen in the sky. It's never seen below the flat earth. So how on earth, I'll just turn off this light, how on earth can the sun appear to come out of the ground when it is up in the sky? That makes the flat earth impossible. Now I'm going to get a lot of objections from flatties with this and uh, so we'll go through the ones that I know will come up. One of them will be, ooh that's not our map, we don't know exactly where the continents are on our flat earth. Yeah okay, so um, if this your Earth is still flat, right? And it doesn't matter where the continents are. So uh, we'll just delete them. There, no continents, no countries. The uh, your flat plane is still flat. I didn't change that. The sun is still in the sky, rotating around. And no matter where I am on the flat Earth, the sun's still in the sky. Okay, well, let's try and put that back there so we know that doesn't make any difference. And um, the next thing, next thing that we can talk about is raw perspective. Right, so this here is already perspective view. This model already incorporates perspective the tool does it for us so if you want to say that the sun goes down and looks like a sunrise or sunset because of perspective this model clearly illustrates that the sun is not far away not far enough away to be able to say that that's due to perspective now any flatty who wants to disagree with that and say its perspective, then uh, you're going to have to do the calculations and work out how far away does your sun need to be uh, before it will go below the surface of the flat earth. And I can give you the answer now. It's, it's uh, impossible for it to go below the surface of the flat earth due to perspective. But let's just say get very, very close. Now, I'm not doing any calculations here because I'm just saying, look at this, use your common sense. There's the sun above the flat earth. How is it ever going to get below the flat plane and appear to come out of the ground? So, if you want to say that the sun sets due to perspective, then do the calculations. Easy. Show us. Now the other thing that will come up as an objection is oh, we don't know the height of the sun. Okay, so you don't know what the height of the sun is and therefore we don't know where the sun will be. So let's do this here and uh, move the sun up and down. So what do you, where do you want to go? 
you want to get down look at that the sun's so close to the ground that you're going to boil the oceans fry all the people on the land so you can see I can I have to bring the sun right down to the surface there with almost zero height there and uh, uh, we'll be bring it up to a reasonable height where it won't fry everybody on your flat disk earth and you can see in the bottom the path of the sun in that bottom window to the right is uh, starts to become lower in the sky as you lower the sun but it never gets completely to the bottom but then at that height common sense will tell you that that's just too close to your flat earth look at that so if you if you you put your sun up to a level where it's not going to burn a path through the uh, flat plane then um, then it, it's never going to be seen below a certain elevation even at midnight on the other side of the um, world the midnight on the other side of the flat plane there you can still see the Sun it's still above the horizon so the fact that the sun can never go below the horizon is an instant debunk of flat earth instantly and here's a bonus for you people in australia if you're on the east coast of australia over here and uh, you're looking at the sunrise you're going to see it coming from a direction in this quadrant south of east but your flat earth sun is over here north north of the Tropic of Capricorn over to the left so people say oh does reality match the flat earth or the globe model and I say go look at the sun if you can show me that the sun is in the position on the flat earth model I'll put some credence in the flat earth but if I go outside and see that the Sun is exactly in the place that the globe model says and the flat earth says the Sun is in somewhere completely different not even close I'm gonna say it's the globe model that works the flat earth model doesn't one more thing the flatties will say that oh this is just a digital model and it's not reality well yes that's true it is just a digital model but this tool is designed to make models that if you were to build them they would be reality so here's what I propose any of you flat earthers that want to uh, say this build this you know get a round piece of flat wood or something like that I don't know make a flat plane like that suspend your floaty sun up there with a wire or a string doesn't matter I reckon it's going to look something like this now then all you've got to do is get your camera out and photograph from anywhere on your flat earth the sun rising out of the ground like it would do at sunrise or plowing into the ground at sunset just take that picture show us all that'll be a proof of your flat earth with a real non-digital physical model uh, should be easy right well go to it <laughs>